Is that fun? Oh, yummy! Oh, did, you, did you like that? <laughs> Adventures yeah. of New Year's Eve, right? I guess this is New Year's Eve as a parent. I'm Sierra at the Robinson Home. On my channel, I do different types of videos like vlogs, decoration videos, pregnancy updates. When I'm pregnant, I am not now, but I do have a five-year-old, three-year-old, one-and-a-half-year-old, and three-month-old. They're all girls, and a lot of my videos are about them. In fact, most of them are. We would love for you to join our YouTube family, so come check out our video and subscribe if you'd like. Good morning, lovelies, and welcome to A Day in the Life with me and my two little girls. We are going to have a lot of fun today. If you're coming over from Sierra's channel, welcome. I'm the mom of two little girls. Bethany is two and Adeline is one. And I'm really excited. This is a really fun collaboration. We're going to be doing a bake with me today. Um, I started the process last night, so I'll insert that footage here. And you can enjoy that and then I'll show you what I'm about to do next also while I'm at it I do motherhood content days in the life I do a lot of furniture flipping and interior design stuff here and there um, and really a lot of other things that come to mind a lot of motherhood tips as well so that's kind of what my channel content is about but let me let you go watch that footage and I'll be right back So for this recipe, you're gonna need three different kinds of flour. You're gonna need all-purpose flour. You're gonna need one cup of this or 200 grams. You're going to need 200 grams of, of bread flour or one cup. And you're gonna need half of a cup of whole wheat flour or 100 grams. So all of those together makes the perfect um, combination for a sourdough and the mean the reason why is because sourdough loves to eat this kind of, sorry this kind of flour whole wheat flour um, but this slows it down and then this gives it more gluten so that it turns out fluffier um, I haven't made it using bread flour just yet last time I made it I only made it with all-purpose and whole wheat so we'll see how it turns out this time hopefully it's a little more fluffy and I'm excited to try this variation of the recipe this is the original recipe so here is the starter mixture. It's all mixed in with the water. And I have my three different flours here. I have my all-purpose flour, one cup of that. I have one cup of bread flour, and then I have half a cup of whole wheat flour. So I'm just going to add these in. I took my rings off because this stick gets really super sticky. Um, and I already added my salt. And I'm going to slowly add in the flowers and to start off I'm going to mix them and then I'm going to switch to my hands. My world on fire. You said my world on fire. I don't know what I do without you. This recipe is a no-knead recipe. 
Um, so we are not gonna have to turn this out and knead it. It just needs to rest and basically you're gonna stretch the dough every 30 minutes for about an hour and a half to two hours. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take every side of our dough. This is a pretty good consistency. It's kind of on the stickier side, but that's okay. Um, it kind of dries out as I found and it actually makes it softer for a softer bread if you're if your dough is a little more sticky. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take each side like this and we're gonna pull it in on itself to sort of make a ball. And it doesn't need to be perfect. We're gonna just do it like this. Do it like four or five times until you get like a little mound. It doesn't look have to look like a ball. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a, um, damp cloth and put it over this and let it rest for 30 minutes and then I'll be back to show you what's next. Okay. <laughs> I'm back sooner than expected. Um, I just wanted to show you I use a damp washcloth because I found that this works and it's easier. I don't know why it's just, I don't know. I liked using it the last time I did it and it stays damp longer than a hand towel. Um, especially if your hand towel is like a little dish towel. Obviously, if you're using something more absorbent, it would be a little bit, you know, better. So I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna lay it over the top of my little um, bowl, and I'm gonna let it rest for 30 minutes. I'm gonna try to clean up the rest of my house, maybe, <laughs> this time that I'm waiting for it to um, rise a little bit. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'll be back in 30 to show you what this looks like. All right, it has been 30 minutes and I have my bread bowl here. So it has risen a little bit. You can tell it's a little bit bigger. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet my hands with just the leftover water that I have right here. And this really helps your fingers not to stick to the dough. And you're gonna take one side and you're gonna pull it in on itself like this. You're gonna turn your bowl quarter turn and you're gonna do the same thing here and you're gonna do it again right here and you're basically gonna stretch the dough just a little bit on itself so that it kind of like basically activates the gluten a little bit more and the next time you do this is gonna be a little more tough to do and the next time even more tough and that's why with this um, recipe you don't need to um, need it because you basically are kneading the dough by doing this step. All right, so that's pretty good. I formed it into a little ball again. We're going to cover her again for another 30 minutes. I'm gonna go work on some stuff. I'll be back. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. Should fall, just go ahead, go and catch me, baby. Ooh, I live it. That's my two, two, oh, two, two, oh. Ooh, I love it. Crank it up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn it up, turn it up on a higher level. Turn it up, turn it up, we got this. Turn it up. I'm still learning how this camera works, so excuse me if it's a little bit too bright. I have my ring light here, but I am not used to the settings on it, so my apologies in advance if it looks a little bit weird or wonky. But this needs to um, basically set out on the counter for four to five hours, and then from there, um, we're gonna cover it with a damp cloth again. And then from there, it's going to do a bulk fermentation because this is a sourdough loaf in the fridge. Now, normally this would be done overnight, but I started my dough a little bit too late because I fed my starter too late in the day. Um, hence, I had to wait for that to um, ferment. Now, this is going to ferment. So 
There's a lot of benefits to the fermentation of sourdough. Um, if you don't know, you should look them up. Um, one of them being it makes it easier for your body to, to break down the gluten and to break down every nutrient in the wheat so that you get the best out of your bread. And it makes it really easy for your body to digest it. So if you have a hard time eating bread, I would suggest looking into um, the sourdough method. I think it's great. Um, so anyways, normally this would be done Normally I would be doing the, the cold fermentation, but I have to let it rise at room temp first. So it needs four to five hours for that. It's probably gonna end up being like six because I'm gonna go to bed. Um, <laughs> hopefully I don't have to get up super early. I think I can get up at like six and then put it in the fridge um, and we should be good to go. But I'll see you tomorrow for the rest of the day in the life. And I think it's gonna be a really wonderful day. We're gonna have a lot of fun tomorrow and I'll see you guys then. Bye. night in the middle of a storm the road was blocked so jesse was born in this old house raised on love in those sunny years when there was magic in the world her laughter traveled well across those hardwood floors god knows we didn't So both of my girls are napping. Um, this does not look like a typical day for me. Normally I'm dressed, have my makeup on, everything, and I'm being super productive during their nap time, getting things done, or flipping furniture. <laughs> but last night was so rough. My gosh, they woke up like, I don't know how many times between the two of them. It must have been over like six times between the two of them. And, well, with Addie, I'm used to her waking up at least once, maybe twice a night. And last night, it was just really rough. And Bethany would not go back to sleep, and she's extra cranky this morning, so they're both taking their nap. They went down, like, 30 minutes earlier than usual. And I am so exhausted because I only got, like, one hour consecutive sleep last night at most. And then I would get uh, w get waken up again, and then I would go back to sleep and maybe get 30 minutes and then maybe an hour. So I'm going to take a nap right now. <laughs> I just put the dough in the fridge to do the, um, the cold fermentation, it's called. So that's going to sit in there for eight hours, which means that I'll be able to bake my bread tonight at 7 p.m. Not ideal. I wanted to do it earlier, but I just could not with the girls. So, yeah. So I'm going to take a nap. We'll do some more fun things later. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. I keep saying I'll see you in a little bit. And it's going to be really weird to edit this later. Because I'm going to have all of those in there. So yeah, I'm going to take a nap. It is much later in the afternoon. Well, not a whole lot. Maybe a couple of hours. Um, but Addie took a decent nap. I was able to take a little nap because she napped. So that was great. Um, Bethany resisted her nap for like, I don't even know how long. It was like an hour and she was still really, really cranky and not wanting to go to sleep. Um, so I don't know what that was about. I think it's the holiday season, just things being all out of order and just being overly tired. So she's been really fighting sleep at night and at her naps. So 
that has not been fun. Um, it's been incredibly draining, but also I think I forgot to mention this. We were all sick this week, um, right after I finished Vlogmas, um, cause Christmas was on Saturday and then we got sick with something from the family gathering and most of our family got sick as well. So, um, that was really rough. Um, but we're past it. Thank goodness. Um, finally have an appetite back to the first real me meal I ate in like two days was yesterday. So yeah, that's been great. <laughs> I think the girls are still kind of like getting their appetite back and everything. This is like very white right here. And I don't have my makeup on. I just threw on a shirt and some earrings and put my hair up so I look a little more put together. Little Addy, what you eating, baby? The yum yums. Is it yum yums? She's eating raspberries and chicken alfredo. Except hers doesn't have the chicken in it. I forgot to put it in after I cooked it yesterday. So yeah. Um, the house is kind of in disrepair right now. I need to do some cleaning. Um, I haven't had coffee today either, which is probably why I'm so sleepy. Um, I kind of want to go get a coffee, but Bethany is still napping, so I don't think that's going to happen. I'll probably just make my own here at home and get some cleaning done. We'll see what else today holds. Thank you for being here, guys. I really appreciate you. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have some lunch, and then I'll go do some other things later. <laughs> what is with this little eyebrow hair? Oh my goodness from my nap, it's all discombobulated. There we go, that's better. Okay. Look who finally woke up. It's little Bethany. And we had some lunch. She had some Alfredo pasta. And you're losing your footsie and your jammy. Okay, I'll get you changed. Um, we got our, our my sister-in-law got Bethany a um, slide and we haven't put it together yet because we haven't really been feeling well but I think I'm gonna put it together because today it's like 70 degrees out and I think it'll be a fun little thing for them to do so we can get out of the house without having to go anywhere um, just so they can get their wiggles out because they've not been sleeping well at night so I'm hoping that a little bit of fresh air and running around outside will aid in that so I'm gonna get that set up, um, get the girls changed, bundled up a little bit because it's not that cold, and we'll head outside because I think that'll be really fun for them. All right, we are outside now. I'm going to attempt to put this slide together for the girls. Um, and excuse the, honestly, excuse the giant mess everywhere because like I said, we haven't been feeling well Christmas and everything, so this is not it should be right now and I have a dresser that I need to flip right there but um, I'm gonna open this up I think I'm gonna put it on the grass actually so that if they tumble off of it they'll land on the grass and not on the concrete I think that's a better a better idea so oh whoa. Daddy, be careful sweetie be careful why are you wet huh did sissy get you wet Let's go over here. I'm gonna take this over there. Come over here. Okay, just moved it into our yard. The nice thing about this house is that there is such a huge yard. Are you excited about that? Let me um, see where I'm gonna set this.
First casualty, we have some kind of excrement on the shoes, which is now on the slide. So let me go get some disinfectant wipes and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, well normally I would use some kind of natural cleaner. I'm not using natural cleaner today. I'm using disinfectant wipes because this is nasty. Oh my gosh. I stuck the slide right in a pile of excrement, probably cat excrement because that happens all the time. No, whoa, so I'm whoa, really glad they didn't whoa, slide down that whoa. and land right in the poop because it's like literally right at the end of the slide. I wanna be so much better whenever you're around. I wanna say something clever. That was extremely disgusting. Now I'm gonna go wash my hands. And then we'll play on the slide. <laughs> Adventures yeah. of New Year's Eve, right? I guess this is New Year's Eve as a parent. Cleaning up dog poop or cat poop off your kid's new slide. So I've gotten that bag and then that bag. And then over there I have one more that I got of leaves. Picking up leaves is so tiring, man. 
but the tree has no more so once I'm done with this I won't have to do anymore see there's the tree yeah! all right the lighting is a little rough in here because I don't have my ring light but whatever um I made sliders for dinner and they look so delicious let me show you look at how delicious these look this is the bits of brie recipe from her cookbook and oh my gosh delectable so we're gonna have that as our new year's eve dinner but then we're gonna go to roberto's um uncle's house and we're going to have a nice time with them for a little bit then i'll come home and edit we're gonna eat i am also gonna serve this with some leftover mashed potatoes that i have the girls are playing a little bit so i'll show them because they're cute hey bebita what do you have are you looking for some food we're gonna have dinner we're gonna have dinner you want some do you want some look i got some bread for you <gasps> you want a little piece of bread some brioche roll no okay i'll pick you up i'll pick you up all right it is time to bake some bread i took the um dough out of the fridge and oops just dropped the cover off um it is risen quite nicely the only thing is that i forgot to do a step which is basically that you put um flour on the bottom of the bowl so that the bottom of the dough doesn't get stuck but i forgot to do that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna test the dough first to see if it is ready to be baked and this is how you do that so you basically you put your finger in up to your first knuckle so you, t you put your finger in like this if the dent springs back and fills in completely it's not ready yet if you bake it it's not going to rise properly and then if it springs back slowly and incomplete like this is it's ready to be baked so that's how you know if your dough is ready or not um what i'm going to do is i'm going to basically just flour this very lightly so that i can actually get a cool crust on this i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna put this in my pan and everything we're gonna preheat the oven to let me see this is the recipe i'm using i'm gonna preheat the oven to 400 no 500 degrees sorry this is not focusing there we go this is the recipe 500 degrees and we're gonna bake it for 30 minutes with the dutch oven inside so that is basically as high as my oven will bake okay let's bake that i'm gonna stick my dutch oven inside here and let it basically like preheat the little basically let it preheat the um the oven because it has to be really really hot so this is my dutch oven right here we're gonna put this in here and we're gonna put it in without the lid on so that it gets nice and hot on the inside okay for 30 minutes so let's set a timer sit on so it's going to be like a little sling that I can use to lower the dough into the hot um, dutch oven so I'm going to use the lid as a guide because I forgot to do this before I put the pan in the oven
So you're going to bake this for 22 minutes at 450 degrees and then you're going to take the lid off and continue baking it for another 20 minutes or until you reach the desired brownness of your crust. So when you take the lid off of it, it basically um, makes the crust get really, really um, golden and pretty. But when you keep the lid on, it allows the dough to keep rising. So that's why you put the, put the lid on and it and it gets the heat inside of it really, really, really hot. It's almost as if you had a bakery grade oven, but all you need is a Dutch oven and it's great. Are you washing your hands? Good job. Can you reach the water? Oh, it's kind of cold here. Let's get some warm there. There you go. Now can you reach it? Put your hands. Put your hands. Your hands, not your tongue. There. Good job. When he tells you that you're all he wants, then it's midnight. Oh.